Hi everyone and welcome back to another drawing demo. Okay, so this is the scene that I'm going to be drawing today. It's an old water mill. Um, I've changed it a little bit from the reference photo. I've kind of lightened up the actual building itself and added more detail there. Um, just to add more interest and make for a stronger focal point uh, in the composition. Um, this is only going to be a brief overview of the video demonstration. The full tutorial and drawing demonstration will be over on my Patreon channel. Um, there will be 12 videos to actually accompany this one with about 7 or 8 hours real time content um, with real time voice, no voiceovers or sped up videos or anything like that. Um, so if you're interested in um, you know, the full version of this, I'll leave a link in the description below um, to my Patreon page and also there'll be one on the end screen cards right at the very end of the video. Okay, so the equipment that I used today was my usual Dale Rowney A4 smooth heavyweight cartridge paper. I used quite a selection of pencils for this one. Um, quite a lot of mechanical pencils actually. I used a 0.5 um, HB, a 0.5 2B and a 0.9 HB and a 0.54B. You're probably wondering why I used so many mechanical pencils there. Well that was mainly to get just various line widths um, you know for the detail and things like that. Um, I also used a couple of wood case pencils there, a 2B and an HB and a 2H which is in the pencil holder there. Uh, several erasers, the Tombow Mono Zero, uh, the Kohinoor um, pencil eraser, some blue tack that I used for my kneadable eraser, several blending stumps, um, a small blending brush and a dust brush, set square and I also used some Kohinoor graphite powder as well. Links to all the products that you see here will be in the description below should you be interested in purchasing any of them. Um, there will be other links there as well which might be of interest to you so I urge you to take a look in the description below if you get time. Ok so let's get busy and start the drawing. Ok so I'm starting out with a grid method as usual. Uh, I'm just going lightly with the HB pencil just to get the line drawing in. Uh, I do actually go over that later on and strengthen the lines up because I'll be going over with some graphite powder over the whole paper. Uh, I don't want to lose the lines when I'm rubbing the graphite powder all over there so I need to strengthen them up a little bit with some 2B pencil uh, just a little bit later on. There are several reference photos over on my Patreon page of this scene as well. Uh, one of them's in colour as well so if you want to do this as a pencil and wash or a watercolour um, there's a colour photo over there for you. Um, there's a black and white one and there's one with a grid already on there so you can just print it straight off um, and get drawing if you want to. So the scene's quite complex actually. The um, the water wheel is um, quite tricky actually and there's quite a lot of stuff going on behind um, and in the middle of the wheel there. Uh, you know it's okay looking at those slats in the foreground there but there's you know, quite a bit of stuff going on you know inside that wheel there which we've got to kind of take care of later on. Okay so once I've gone over the line drawing with a 2B pencil and strengthened it up, I've gone over the whole paper with graphite powder and I'm starting to erase out for the clouds. Um, I didn't actually mention in the kit description at the start there, I did actually use the Derwent pen eraser uh, to erase out for the clouds there. So I'm starting with these trees now. Um, various combinations of um, 2H pencil, HB pencil, um, eraser and the blending stump. And once that's done it's time to start work on some of the structures. Using a 4B pencil now to get these nice and dark. It looks like in the reference photo that these were actually painted black anyway, you know these railings. Um, so the pencil 4B is quite dark. Uh, it gives a really nice dark, you know, 9B kind of tone, uh, which is ideal for that. And please remember as well that this video is only really an overview um, of the drawing tutorial, um, so there's not much in the way of um, tips and techniques throughout this video, although hopefully you should be able to get a few. Um, it's mainly just to give you inspiration um, and just to show you what I've been up to lately with my drawings. The 
This is quite a complicated scene actually, I wouldn't recommend this one at all for beginners, uh, but for the more advanced that like a little bit of a challenge, I think you'll enjoy this one. Um, but I've got a lot more beginners videos coming up, I'm going to be doing some pencil and wash watercolours and some easier uh, graphite drawings. Um, there's also plenty of videos like that already on Patreon there, there's over 100 videos um, already on there, you know, full lessons for beginners and more advanced. Got a great community of people over there, really friendly, supportive bunch of people. I'm sure you'll have a great time over there. Um, if you want to go along and, and take a look, you can have a, have a look on the community section there. You'll see that people are posting their artwork. Um, you know, and if you join up, you can post your artwork there too and join in with the community. It'd be great to see you over there. You'll probably notice as well that um, the video looks a little bit different. You know, usually I've got a white background there, I've got the picture clipped on with Bulldog Clips. And this time I've got the the paper taped with washi tape. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a tape that a lot of crafters use, um, you know, for decorative edges and things like that on card making. All, all kinds of uses. Um, I got sent a free sample of it and I found that it doesn't actually rip the surface of the cartridge paper whereas normal masking tape if you were to stick that all the way around the edge to try and get a nice white border when you're finished by the time you've come to peel it off you'll be you know tearing the surface of the cartridge paper so this washi tape is absolutely fantastic because you can peel it off really easily and then you can just stick it to your board again and reuse it and you can keep reusing it over and over again um, it's much better than um, you know, regular masking tape. So yeah, I think I'm going to be um, using this from now on. Okay, so the picture's progressing nicely now. We're actually working on the building using an HB pencil for that, just to lay down um, very basic tone. Um, it's kind of varying the pressure just a little bit, just to get some variation between the boards there, just to start the process off. You know, of the aging and the character on the wood. So again, I'm kind of working in layers, you know, laying an underdrawing down first of just a um, very simple um, graphite tone, and then building on top of that, you know, with the darker tones and the eraser to get the detail. And this is where the mechanical pencils really start to come in handy, um, particularly for, you know, the very fine grain patterns. I'm forgetting in all the little tight corners right up close to the lines and all that kind of thing and you can get a range of them you know in various lead sizes and various lead hardnesses um, you know and you can kind of set up a little group of them um, you know to suit your needs so I've got several of them you know with different leads in them different sizes I find them very useful you know for this detailed work but I do prefer you know the wood case pencils for just general shading You can obviously use um, mechanical pencils for shading too, um, but because of the nature of them, you know, the very fine points, um, you know, they can cut into the paper a little bit. Um, not so much so with the 0.9mm and possibly the 0.7mm, but when you start getting into the 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and even the, the Pentel Arends, the 0.2, I mean, that's like a little razor blade on your paper. The 0.5s are not too bad, you just have to press a little bit lighter with them, um, but you'll find it a lot easier to actually shade larger areas, you know, using a wood case pencil. And then adding the details and the texture, you know, with the mechanical pencils. Basically that's exactly what I'm doing now, I'm just like kind of building up the wood grain and just shading in some of the darker corners a little bit just to add some kind of weathering and texturing effects uh, on the wood there. And it's always nice to use mechanical pencils because you've got that consistent point all the time. You know, there's no need to sharpen them. Um, they stay at that constant width, unlike wood case pencils. You know, the more you use them, they kind of round off on the ends, they get wider and wider and blunter and blunter, and you're forever sharpening them. For some reason this picture took me ages, probably longer than it took me to draw the Haywain. <laughs> um, I haven't got a clue why. Um, 
I mean, to look at it, it doesn't look like there's much there, but there just seems to be so much small detail going on there. You know, the foliage on the trees and all the intricate work on the wheel. Um, that's before we even start on the grass, which was probably one of the longest parts of the picture, actually. Um, yeah, it just seems to go on forever, this drawing. I should have actually timed it because it's I should guess, I mean I think we're getting sort of 40, 50 hours again well that's what it felt like anyway, it probably wasn't but it kind of felt like that uh, but I think I'm going to start to get into the habit now of timing my drawings just to see how long I actually spend on them so the picture's really starting to take shape now you know these final adjustments on the building you know just softening back a little bit with the blender just reworking some of the detail. So once the building was done it's time to add these trees, these overhanging trees and branches. And then when that's done it's time to make a start on the grass. Now it's like I mentioned, you know, this this took ages and ages and ages to do. It's a case of just keep layering up, going in with the eraser, smearing some more graphite over the top, going back in with the eraser, and going in with the pencil to darken in between. Um, I even got the magnifying glass on the job and, uh, you know, started to reshape some of the blades of grass <laughs> and things like that, you know, just to try and really enhance the detail as best as I could. Anyway, that's pretty much the drawing finished, all I've got to do now is just put in that fence post and we can call that one done. So there we go, so there's the finished drawing. Hope that's gave you some inspiration. Love to see you over on Patreon, you know, if you want to see the full lesson, that would be fantastic. Okay, so thanks very much for viewing. Um, take care everybody and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.